okay. I mean, we, we can, seeing as we are 20 minutes away from supposedly being done all the next two questions, thankfully the last one is short, but the hardest one. But the next one is we can pick some maybe one or two specific focus areas. You guys have already hit on some. And what solutions, what actions do we maybe suggest? It doesn't have to be something we all agree on, but it could just be stuff that we hear from the group. So let's pick something maybe that has kind of permeated throughout this entire conversation. I'll leave it to you to, to do that. <laughs> Can we tackle the business portion? Business came up a lot. We've got a couple of business owners here. Any other thoughts? Well, see, business ties into employment. Well, well, not only that, it, it ties into talking, going back down to town and even state levels. It ties in with the town governments and the zoning and regulations that directly affect type of business and how easy or difficult it is to establish a business, where you can have a business, and I think we've agreed that business would be a suitable topic because it connects to so many things. Is that fair? All right, so let's talk about what are some solutions to allow people to create, keep, have workers for their businesses, have customers, or anything to do with business. You guys already said mm -hmm. my idea. Yep. I'll move, I'll move you on. See, it's funny and easy. But, you know, Well, I like a loan for $100,000 and 5% amortized over 20 years. <laughs> That's really specific. Okay. Yeah. And what's preventing that? Um, looking to land my first major uh, commitment from the Hannafords or Shaw's or like uh, and I've, I'm working on that. So, you know, so you're... Because I'd be providing local, organic, right? The ease of these are getting the money. In your case, it has to do with your, your ability to justify your business model to, uh, to, to, to a bank or something, to somebody who's going to loan the money. Yes, and have perfect credit and give up your first point. Well, of course. Right. So, you know, I would, I would agree that you know, you know, transform the business and the more banking model, that's a whole lot of the focus to the banking model is something to work I mean, the 5% part, I don't, it may not be in your future. But the other part, that means. So, are we talking right now about a credit issue, or are we talking, because it doesn't seem like what you're saying is, is less of a credit issue, Mark, and more of a... Easy, 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 easy. But, you know, there's, I think that's what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, ease of credit. Right. Uh, it's a big thing. Well, banking regulations are. We've got about 15 minutes before we wrap up. It's not, a, it's not really a state issue. It's a state issue. It's a state issue. It's a state issue. It's a well, also small banks too. If they want to lend, they can lend by their own standards. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 so do, do you want me to tie that in to small banks versus big? For the rules and regulations regarding small banks versus big banks, or I'm not looking to get into that. So I, uh, okay. Ease of credit, ease of doing business. All right. Uh, re reduce the barriers to entry. Is my economics professor used to say. Okay. Other thoughts about business, business in general, how we can promote business. But what are some solutions? Train, train our youth in and in bus, business options that are more than McDonald's and Burger King and that. Give them a train. Train workforce. Yeah. That's yeah. the right word. Yeah. Don't yeah. train them to be uh, cogs in a machine. Right. Teach them how to make that machine. 
Sure. You're going to make me spell that word again, aren't you? Yes. D-N-T-R-E-P-R-E-U-N-E-R-S-H-I-P. -E -E so instead of just maybe just trained workforce, but actually trained skilled workforce, is that a better term of what you guys are trying to get at? I don't know. The word workforce makes me think of, uh, I don't know, someone on an assembly line. A cog in a, like you said, a cog in a machine. Yeah. So, it's really trained, entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Yep. You were to make me spell that word? Yeah. I went to call, I, I don't know, I think I... Well, you know, I mean, you know, you need to, you need to, you need to find your best and brightest. And, and, uh, and give them that, give them that tool to be the entrepreneur. Everybody's going to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. 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 But to attract so them here and support them and That's okay, Doug. Don't, don't worry about it. So the spell I think, check. I think maybe one of the things that we are not doing is we're not actually giving our best and brightest the leg up that they need. No, the, uh, no child left behind. I know, I know. The uh, SAU, my son went to, the first, one of the first things to go was the gift and tap, gifted and talented programs because they can take care of themselves. We need to deal with the kids that really need the education process. They're the, the highest dropout rate. So yeah. the highest dropout rate is the, uh, the ones that are bored with school. Yeah. Yeah. They're too bright. How do we support entrepreneurs? You know, how do we do it as a society, as a state, as a state? What do they need to succeed? And what would our kids need to become a leader? Well, again, some of it is the mindset as, as a consumer. I shop locally as opposed to big box chainsaw stores or online. Even if it costs a little more, I am supporting Gibson's bookstore versus Amazon.com. And so part of supporting your entrepreneurs is if they have to be a little bit higher than a Walmart price, that you right. readily support them. Well, and I think that sort of goes back to, to Steve's company. When Walmart came in, um, you know, Steve is still su su succeeding, even though there was talk a long time ago, oh, Rands is going to close because Walmart's in. Well, that's not true, because Rands have specific things that community builders, contractors, people want to go into his store, because it's been there, they know Steve, they know they can get a good product. Yeah, yeah but in fairness, we did have to close. Well, right. I mean, yeah. it, it's not close to close the plaza store. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. So, I mean, in fact, you know, it's, it's not a, it is, it is. I mean, the big boxes are the next best, the yeah. next best, yeah. you know, they, yeah. they bring, they raise the bar, and they raise the bar, which is a good thing, they also cut out lots of opportunities for small, but probably less, less efficient producers of stuff <laughs> in quantity. So we could talk about how you could specialize yourself and your skills and your customer service and your knowledge where, where I'd want to come in there for you because if I go to the box store and I get a moron with a, something stuck in his lip or his nose or his eyebrow. You get a some workforce Oh. A workforce. Work for uh, <laughs> is he the workforce guy? <laughs> and he's still there because he actually understands the concept that when you take a job, you're supposed to show up for work every day, not when you feel like it. Yeah. yeah. Been there. But I have a feeling, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just stuck on this entrepreneurship thing because that's what we need. We need, and, but I think that our education system isn't producing people who think the way entrepreneurs have to think. No, it produces people that can take tests, right, pass right, the state right. level, so right. they can move on to the next level. So what do we do about that? What's we, the solution? Well, we not only need to find create entrepreneurs. We need to create entrepreneurs who can create products that we can export. Yeah. Yeah. No right. truth. People who can think we about can the economy of the future. Because, in fact, we're always going to need stuff that we can't produce here. 
So if we're going to have a balance of trade, we're yeah. going to have to have we're exportable, have products. exportable products. That's all it is to explain. Steve, just to address what you said from the seminar I went to that Mike did and Kim did about entrepreneurship and starting a business for under a thousand bucks, he said, Mark, one of the ways that there are there are lots of ideas at colleges right now, and they even have a name for it. It's for college kids who are very smart come up with all these ideas. I can make a new widget, but okay, now I, and the widget idea is designed by these six people around the table. But now I'm going off to a job, and this idea sits there at the college, already approved and patented, but no one takes it from there. As an entrepreneur. When I get some money, I'm going to go knock on those school doors and say, all right, you want a dime for every time I sell one of those? Fine. I'll make the 90 cents. And there's the dime for, for you guys. And now we've got an idea. So there are ideas and products that are sitting there that I wasn't aware of that are just like low-hanging fruit. Crook TV.